Previously, on Dragon Soup for the Soul. The dawn of our adventure begins with three unlikely heroes. I am playing as uh, Albius Elenath, also known as Bios. He is a wood elf druid. I am Dimble Brodynook. You can call me Din. I am a fighter. I will be playing Lander the Occultist. Our champions awake, trapped in the bowels of a deadly pirate ship. I do have a plan. Are there any rats on the ship? Make a perception check. <laughs> Uh-oh. I followed up my two with a one. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't see <laughs> shit. I am wondering if anyone is skilled in the arts of dexterity uh, feats of such things. <laughs> I, I can, I believe I can help us there. I really would have liked a rat, though. In lieu of using rats, our heroes decide to exploit both the spirits and the prosthetic limbs of the dead to aid them. You kind of, like, feel around with your legs into the water, because that's really the only way you can perceive anything in this <laughs> thick muck. Okay. And you knock against the false leg of the other unconscious guy. I'm pretty intelligent, so I look at it and I start trying to tinker with it. I do like tinkering. I forgot to mention that. You're kind of a Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy type character. Kind of a Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. A classic TTSS. (laughs) Um, You can sense that this guidance that you are casting from the spirits, uh, you know, might have some connection to the dead guy that is uh, right next to you. And you kind of get a glimpse of his helpless face as you cast guidance. And you can tell he's very scared. I wish I were strong enough to, to make contact with you, sir, but Oh, well. <laughs> then, our players get the upper hand by executing the perfect ambush. So, you approach the door, you look through it, and through it you can clearly see what looks to be a man's face that is looking straight through the porthole as if he's about to immediately enter the door. (laughs) Into this. Jesus. Grab the keys. (laughs) And you could just see him go, like, mouth the foot. And (laughs) as he sees you. I get a four to strength to try to hit the door. (laughs) You get a four strength? So it's so quiet because I'm not very strong, right? (laughs) That's the bonus. So you're his, like gonna his is stopping you. Yeah. <laughs> he rolls an 18. So he's going to yank the door open in a in a hurry, not even knowing that you are pushing the door forward. So you're actually gonna be like lunged out right next to him. You fall into his arms. Yeah. <laughs> the ensuing fight for survival doesn't go quite as planned. 1d12 poison damage. He's gonna. He's going to take three poison damage. Oh, no. <laughs> Dang it. I run up and just like... <laughs> poison. <laughs> like Scarecrow? Like, and I'm just... <laughs> Is that the poison noise Poison damage. And it's, like, it's like slightly inconvenient. <laughs> yeah, I do make that noise. I'm like... I run up. I'm a wood elf. So I'm like... <laughs> you just like farted in your hand. And then... <laughs> <laughs> you go like, like this and then you blow it in his face. <laughs> The battle is won, but from deep within the hearts of our heroes, a secret bloodlust is revealed. You got one? Yeah. So he surrenders, and you just (laughs) beat his face (laughs) in with your fake leg. (laughs) I don't want to do this. I don't want to. His surrendering moans become inaudible as blood from his broken <laughs> nose fills his mouth. He's just like, please don't stop attacking oh me. Gosh. <laughs> After okay. I, I I play it off as if I didn't hear him ask for his life and I beat him one more time and then I let him drop him. Okay. Right. <laughs> and now, welcome to Dragon Soup for the Soul. Brought to you by NerdSourced your number one resource for all things nerd. Boys and girls, are you hungry for adventure? Try Dragon Soup for the Soul, now with 50% less curses. Combat's over, uh, and you guys can kind of do what you will. Mm-hmm.
So uh, I'm still hunkering over this guy with my my club in my in the air, like grabbing him by the the shirt. If he can see me, then he knows I'm like super intimidating. You know, I'll, I'll um three foot nine of me. Three foot nine. Um, <laughs> I mean, he could probably lift me over him yeah. right now, but uh, uh, I'm I'm waiting for backup from the other guys. I don't want to let this guy go. All right, so. Or is there any means to get to the deck from here, or is there just, like, another door? It seems like this is half the ship has been walled, so this is kind of like the barracks area. You assume that somewhere else kind of beyond this area is, is a way to get upstairs. Uh, but it's not directly right. in front of you. But there is a door at the opposite end that the guy was running to, so you can assume that that's probably where the, the way up would be. All right. Then I'm going to look around. We should see if there's anything useful here that we can use to take back the ship. Uh, I got a nine perception. Okay, I mean, some of the stuff's pretty obvious. There's, like, packs and there's uh, trunks and stuff like that you can rummage through. I'm not going to say it requires that great of a uh, uh, perception. It's pretty obvious. Um, so, yeah, you come upon, like, a, a short sword. Also has some gold in it. So, like, uh, maybe ten gold and uh, we'll say twenty silver pieces. Um... In addition to some more personal belongings, like clothes and whatnot. All right. 10 gold, 20 silver. Uh, are there any any bows? Uh, not on here, no. All right, well, I'll say I found a short sword. I mean, is this useful to any of you guys? Uh, yeah, I can definitely use a short can sword. Can I make a perception All right, I'm going to toss it to Din. Okay, I'll grab it. Okay, uh, what do we want to do with this guy? What do we want to do with this thug? Let's interrogate him. Okay. Like, dude, can't do much more interrogate. <laughs> uh, let's not intimidate him too much. Let's try to persuade him, if you know what I'm saying. You know, let's, uh, I'll talk to him. Get on his good side. I say, sir, you are very close to the next world, and I hope that your uh, passing is a good journey and not an ill one. But that depends on how you answer the next question. How many people are aboard this ship? Uh, he's like holding his nose, what's left of his nose in his hand, and he's like bleeding all over the place. Oh, God. <laughs> Ted? I don't know. There's gotta be fewer and fewer if those other pirates don't stop attacking us. Pirates? Other pirates. How far from land are we right now? Uh, the captain won't tell us. <laughs> oh, please don't kill me. Ask him about the pirates. The pirates. Say the pirates. Who is chasing us? Why are they trying to board the ship? I don't know. <laughs> They're hidden behind some some fog or something. It must be magical. They just haven't stopped pursuing us for the last hour. Hidden by fog. Hmm. Well, if we take the ship, we're going to have to deal with those pirates. So even if we earn our freedom, we're still going to have to outchase this fog. That is true. Are there any rowboats on this craft? Yeah, there's an escape craft on the main deck. I, I turn to... Um... <clears throat> I turn to uh, Lander and I say, tell him if he helps us get out of here, we'll let him live. Right in front of the guy. I say, sir, as my colleague uh, suggested so indelicately, should you aid us in our just and right escape, we will allow you to um, live a happy and, and wonderful life after, after you're done dealing with us. I disagree. I can tell this man, his sign is Iblis, the Fallen. He will try to backstab us and betray us the first chance he gets. I think we leave him here because his stars has foretold his destiny and how he plans to betray us. And I grab him by the cuff. I'm like, isn't that right, you dirty Iblis? <laughs> and I shake him. <laughs> My name's Daddy. <laughs> oh, you're like spitting up blood in your face as he's like, God, you're an Ivalis, aren't you? <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. We know his name. We have to take him with us. 
Uh, uh, do you want to roll persuasion, uh, Tyler, to see if you'll convince him to yeah, sure. fight alongside you? Do we find any rope? I want to go grab some more rope. All right, yeah, I'm gonna say he really has no other choice. I mean, he's not gonna cross you guys. So he's uh, he kind of like grabs, picks up his crossbow, and he's like, "Okay," <laughs> you can tell he's he is. Uh, not happy about his entire life at this point. Um, yeah, you can you can pick up some rope. It's a pirate ship, or not pirate ship. It's a ship. There's rope everywhere, as you can imagine. Wait, is he fighting with us? Well, you said take him with you, right? Yeah, I was gonna tie tie his arms, hands up in rope, and just have him like take us to the boats. But if he's gonna fight with us, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> He, he has, has the, one hit point. Yeah, he, he has I mean, the loyalty of a pirate, so... This is true. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, he is... He... Guys, I, I I can read people pretty well. And, he, you know, he's one of those eyeless folk. I mean, he's not trustworthy. Yeah. And he's just... You know, he's going to backstab us the first chance. Well, like, what are we expecting to do? Fight against the people that he's been fighting with? And even if we do... We'd have to pay him, but we're not offering him any payment, so he has no incentive to well, cooperate. The incentive is we kill you. If you I'm do not disagreeing with option. you guys. I'll kill my friends. Just please don't kill me. Oh, so you um, want to take him with? We'll take him with us. Let's take him. With I don't us. know. I, I don't. We can't us. leave him to die, and and we can't trust him. So I don't know. We can't trust him. Can we knock him out? Can we choke him out? <laughs> okay, here's here's the deal. I'd like to I'd like to make a deal with him. We aren't gonna kill him if he sticks with us, um, which is not the same thing that his pirate buddies would do, which could be um, which could be a bluff, because I actually don't know what his pirate buddies would do. Um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you can persuade him or deceive him if you want, depending on the inflection that you're kind of giving, I assume. Uh, but uh, what are you going to try to to get him to do? Just just follow you, like, tied up? Or fight with... I mean, he's already willing to fight with you, so what are you, what are you trying to get him, him to do? Let's get him to not betray us. To not betray us. <laughs> to not to, betray to understand, us. To understand where he stands in all this. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, five. Five. Okay. <laughs> he is utterly afraid of you. Okay. And as you talk to him, he's kind of like backing away. He's like, "I'll, I'll kill him. I'll kill him. I swear." Maybe, maybe. I, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, let's. Uh, that's the best we can do, guys. Um, <laughs> we die. We die. And uh, if he dies, he dies. Let's go on. Let's move on. All right. That's what my character says. I, that's not what I say. Um, uh, does the next door have a window on it? It does not. No. I want to slowly open and peek through that door okay. to see what's on the other side of it. Uh, you see, so you slowly open the door, and you can hear the sounds coming from the uh, next room and and beyond. You're not really sure where they're coming from exactly, but it sounds like just like stomping of feet and like running back and forth and some crashing noises. Okay, so um, what do I see? So you look straight forward, you can see a door. You look to your left, and it goes around a corner. And that seems to be where the noise is coming from. Okay, I think we should check out... Let's check out the noise, yeah? Okay. You turn left, and you see uh, directly in front of you, probably about ten feet in front of you, is a staircase that goes straight up. Uh, okay. Beyond that, it seems like just like maybe cargo area, holding area. There's some crates, cartons holding assorted liquids and and uh, bottles and stuff like that. Okay, I look back at Danny. I, I point my sword down the hallway, not not the where I'm looking, but straight ahead. I say, Danny, what's down there? Oh, it's just more more cargo holding area, kind of for the more delicate stuff. I think it mm -hmm. has a bunch of like nets on it and stuff. I can go check okay. it out if you want me to. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? Should we, should we go up to the battle or should we go down the hallway and check it out? Let's explore. I think. Yeah. I, I think so. Yeah, let's go down the hall. Okay, we'll go down the hall. Okay, past the staircase. Past the staircase. Okay. So uh, there are crates. They seem to be labeled different things, uh, with the contents of them, kind of like 
stenciled on with some paint. Uh, they seem to all have markings that say um, Black Shores Trading Company on them. The cartons full of bottles are like liquor of some kind, but mostly, yeah, mostly cartons full of, of goods. I want to roll a history, perhaps, to see if I know anything about Black Shore Trading Company. Okay, I get an eight. The name rings a bell, but you don't remember anything extraordinary about them, which makes you think that they're probably just a seller of traditional goods and, and stuff like that, like liquors and, like I said, textiles, nothing too whimsical or illicit. Can we open any of them? Yeah, you can, yeah, go ahead. So there's, you want to open one of the crates or like uh, one of the bottles? I'll open one of the crates. Okay. You can see there is smoked meats that have been dried out. They don't look to be like rations, but they have been well plundered. Uh, <laughs> so you can go ahead and assume that the people have been eating at these at these supplies, the pirates. Okay, I see. Should we take some? You want to grab a handful? Yeah, I'll grab some. You could take a pack from the barracks if you wanted to. Just empty it out and take one of theirs. Oh, yeah, uh, I think. Can I do that? Yeah. So you take a minute, run back. I'll do that as well. Okay. I ask Danny, I say, what is all that noise up there? Are we under the attack this second? Are they firing at us? Yes, they're firing or throwing. I don't know. They're... There are these strange, like, spears or something? Big arrows? I don't know, but they've just been relentlessly attacking us. I want to go to the door that leads to the deck. Um, and if there's a porthole, I want to look through it. If not, I want to open the door slowly and look outside. At, at, you know. So the staircase leads to an open entrance to the next floor. It's not the deck. Um, and it is, they're so busy running back and forth, they, you don't even need to roll a stealth check or anything, like, they are not paying attention to anything else. They seem to be loading the cannons. Right. Are you telling us about this, Lander? Yeah, uh, you know, I would encourage you guys to come with me. Um, I don't know what else you guys would do, but unless think, you have something else to do. I think we should make straight for the lifeboats and try to yeah. get out of here while the commotion is going on. See if we can just jump on a boat, sneak away... Whoever's chasing them continues to chase them and not notice the lifeboat getting away. Yeah, I agree. Let's make a break for it. Could work. It could fail. Yeah, ask Danny. I say, what's the quickest route to the lifeboats? You go up these stairs, and then uh, right next to them is the stairs to go up to the main deck. So you just have to quickly run up and then run up the other set of stairs. It'll be right, right next to them. All right. I say... We do that. Who's going to go first? Uh, I'll go first. What does Morgan think? Morgan seems to just be kind of catching up with you guys. She seems to have rifled through almost everything in the kind of barracks area. She says, if we take a lifeboat, we'll be taking a greater risk depending on how hard that storm is hitting. Yeah. We can probably take out the rest of this crew. What, what like eight? Crew? There's eight other people, right? Uh, according or ten? to Danny's math, there is mm. ten, ten crewmen left. Ten more. And and the people pursuing are just as likely to be, are probably more likely to be bad, but there's a chance they could be good. I don't know, that's a lot of, that's a I, lot of folks. Danny says... I think those are terrible odds. Danny says, I, I, I says, to be honest, Samuel and I, we were just hiding in the barracks. We didn't want to fight. We're, we're cowards, okay? We heard commotion coming for the brig, so we went to go investigate it, and that's why you guys caught up with us. So they could all be dead upstairs. I don't know. How many people are in this room I just looked in that with the below-deck cannons? Four. I say we tried to take them and turn them. We're on the same boat, no pun intended. It doesn't matter if we're with the pirates or against the pirates. We're all going to die if whoever's attacking us keeps attacking us and we don't yeah. defend ourselves. Yeah. So, like, we have to go up deck and say, guys, keep shooting, and we're just going to move along. All right, let's, let's just, just get there. swiftly yeah. to the deck, and then if they stop us, then we just say, hey, look, you know, guys, 
Do you guys have enough problems? You know? <laughs> yeah. You don't need to be fighting with us. You're going to get killed by these other guys first, you know? All right, so Danny's going what, first. Danny's going first? Okay. Danny's going first. No, I, I'm, so, I'm at his back with the sword. He knows not to cross me. So I got go my go. hand and poison ready. Just... <laughs> <laughs> above the gnome, obviously, because you can hold your yeah. hand well above the gnome's head. <laughs> Come on, Danny. Okay, so do you want to try to stealth at all, or are you just going to try to like march up and hope they just don't even bother you? If we can stealth by blending in, yes. Okay. So that might maybe more of like a disguise type of situation. Um, that might be more of a performance, but anyway. That, it kind of is a performance check, yeah. Yeah. Let's do okay. it. So everyone rolls, and then we'll see uh, okay. how well everyone does. Sure. Morgan and Danny are pros. <laughs> So you got another one about there. <laughs> Tyler got a pro. Uh, Twelve. Okay, that's good. Now I got, I got twelve. All right, passes. Can, can you get a zero? <laughs> <laughs> Did you roll a one? Because I rolled a one and I have a negative one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Daddy, just keep walking. <laughs> And I am a pirate. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> If you can't see him, Andy's flailing his arms up and down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys march up, and in the uh, shuffling of all these guys kind of loading the cannons, you overhear them say, like, Oh, they disappear! They're in the mist! Where are they? Just fire! It doesn't matter! It's like, we can't be wasting the rounds! The ship doesn't have very many cannonballs! And uh, you can kind of see them, like, looking around, trying to determine where it's at. One of them turns and locks eyes with you, Din. And then kind of just turns back to the cannon and starts loading it. <laughs> and he's... He, As I got my sword right here. <laughs> Keep going, Danny. Keep going. <laughs> so you guys uh, can march up further if you want. Uh, it is... Uh, s that There's a hatch over this staircase. Okay. Danny, open the hatch. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> And he swings it open, and uh, the whole room kind of rushes with this, like, ice-cold air and just stormy rain that begins yeah. to hit you all on the staircase. And huh. then he kind of marches up there with his crossbow <laughs> up onto the main deck. So now it's really starting to sway, the boat? I mean, yeah, up here you can you can just feel every wave and, and every uh, hit from the thing. From the... I want to make a perception check for the lifeboats. Okay, uh, you're, so you're going to march up to the, the main deck? Yeah, I'll, I'll go out there. <clears throat> okay. Go ahead and roll. So I don't do too good, but I get a, a nine. You get a nine. Uh, it takes you a second to, like, absorb everything that's going on because you, you walk up to the main deck, turn around and look around. Yep. On the starboard side of the ship, which is the south side to you guys, uh, there's, like, 30 of these enormous spears that have just impaled all over the, the thing. Some people have just been fully impaled, and they're at least nine feet long, maybe six inches around. Mm. Uh, oh, so you kind of boy. take that in for a second, and, like, it distracts you from looking from the lifeboat at all. Like, you are... You might be frightened by the sight, you know? So, uh, But there are people frantically, like, managing the sails and people loading cannons up on the top deck and, and they don't seem to notice you at all. There's a captain up on the top who's like yelling orders, uh, but he seems to be yeah. yelling in Dwarvish, in case any of you speak Dwarvish. I do speak Dwarvish. Okay. Yeah, you can hear him just being like, Get the Norendorm! Don't let them fire on us again! Oh god. Okay. I I grab Danny really quickly, Ken. Alright. And I I basically yell at him, because I'm assuming it's really loud. I uh, yell at him as loud as I can. Um, Did you know there were prisoners on this ship? Yeah, we we, we put you guys there. We we had the, 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 you know, trafficker come, and he gave us who he could fight, and we boarded to put you guys on board. The dwarf uh, captain you hear say, Get us closer to that cliffside! We'll lose them! And you can kind of see in the distance, you guys are in a bunch of little islands, and you're sailing directly into one of the cliffs in the captain's attempt to lose the uh, pursuit. So we can we can see the the islands. Yeah, they're like Life very boat. tall islands. 
like just rocks basically protruding from the from the sea. Guys, lifeboat. How? We can try to make it on an island. Yeah, on a lifeboat. I think we can. Yeah, I'm gonna go. In that case, I'm gonna go down and stash more of that meat. Stash as much as I can in the, in my pack. <laughs> a lot of meat. So you're gonna run down to the bottom deck of the ship. Yeah. All right, to the belly. I go with Andy. I say, Danny, you're on your own, buddy. <laughs> so where's Andy uh, going? Go oh, down uh, to the bottom of the ship. Go with Al down to uh, down to the. the I'm gonna get some of that wine or that bottle of stuff. We might need some liquids. Grab some drink. Okay. Head to the lifeboat. Yeah, I think we head to the lifeboats after they're done getting meat. All right. So are you gonna wait around, uh, Lander? Yeah, I'll wait for them. Okay. We're all good. Yeah, I so want to go with them. Okay, so you guys head downstairs. So what are you carrying right now? Like, what is your character carrying? Short I got sword. a sword, short sword, and my gear, my armor, and okay. the pack. Okay, so you dropped the fake leg. Yeah, I'll drop the fake leg. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, Andy, do you want a fake leg? Or, uh, Lan, or Al, sorry. Al, you want a fake leg? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. It does count as a spell it. focus, so... <laughs> All right, awesome. <laughs> uh, you guys are, are running downstairs, packing up your uh, bag and everything, and uh, the ship is getting very close to the cliffside, and in fact is skimming right up next to it, and I'm going to have to roll for the captains uh, and the crews. Ooh, it's not looking good. Okay, so the ship smacks up against one of the cliff sides, bumps up against it, Oh, the shit. whole boat goes like almost 45 degrees or like past 45 degrees almost and then sways back into the water after it kind of smacks you guys are all thrown off kilter um, so why don't we go ahead and I'll make uh, acrobatics checks to see if anyone falls I Morgan, know Danny <laughs> fuck you Danny <laughs> Morgan stays on her feet I got 14 yeah, Danny me too. falls 14, 14, okay. You guys are fine. Uh, I got nine. But you're in the belly of the ship, so it's not that bad. You kind of fall over, but it's not like you're face first, like, horrible. You are uh, you can catch yourself, but you, yeah, you fall down. It seems to be working. The pursuers are kind of, like, not able to follow these crazy escapades. You guys can make it back up to the top of the deck. Uh, okay. And, Tyler, do you want to make another perception check to see if you can find the lifeboat now that you've kind of soaked in the surroundings? I get a 12. So you are up on the main deck, more towards the front of the ship. And you can see that near the main mast, just beyond that, is a upside down little dinghy lifeboat with a spear clear through it. Like, nailing it down to the, to the deck. You could probably manage to pull the spear out and or lift the ship above the spear. Um, is that the only boat I see? Yeah, it's the only one you see. Eric, as long as the damage to the life raft is not more than a foot in diameter, I can mend it. Okay, <laughs> I say whoever is the physically strongest of us should try to pull this out, and I can guide you and and, and use the spirits to help you in strength. Yeah, who, what's everyone's strength? Uh, mine's an 8. Brian's is a 10. Mine's a 9. Morgan lets out a big sigh. She goes, really? Yeah. <laughs> she like rolls up her sleeves. She's like, okay. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so I now want that... to use God on, on Morgan. And can other people aid her so that we she can possibly get a plus yeah. two or something? It's definitely going to require two people lifting it. Because if you lift it from one end, it's just going to get stuck on the spear that's in it. Yeah. Okay, I guess well, I'm going to do the other side. Yeah. I don't okay. know if that's going to work. Uh, <laughs> if your hand is lifted above your head, yeah. how tall do you think that would be for a gnome? If my hand was just above my head? If your hand, you're like, you're, what's the highest you can lift uh, above your head? Oh, if you are um, three foot nine? Yeah, so I could probably lift up to a maximum of five and a half feet. Four and a half feet. That's not gonna. Clear. No, 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 no. Probably five. Probably five. But you could pull I, the spear out if you if you wanted to. You could climb on top sure. and pull the spear out. I bet. Sure. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to start combat 
as the pursuers okay. have kind of gone away uh, due to the fact that you guys are doing crazy cliff maneuvers in this boat, uh, oh. the, the pirates are kind so of they're gonna start... taking notice to you guys all standing at the front of the boat with, like, all the shit <laughs> on the phone. And Danny, who's, like, crying on the floor, <laughs> who probably lost that one HP after he got, like, violently knocked over. Still holding a crossbow. Yeah, the still... crossbow's on the ground now. <laughs> no, he's still holding it. He's still... Like, Danny, goddammit. Why don't we go ahead and roll initiative as they're kind of looking at you? Not all of them are obviously going to attack you because some of them are doing the important duties of pulling ropes and navigating ships and letting sails. I get 11. 13. Let's see. 20. And then Morgan is going to get a 15. All right, so it is Din's turn. So in front of you are... I would say probably six, no, I'm sorry, like five deckhands, the captain, mm-hmm. up on top on another level, a little short staircase up. And uh, like probably two of the five are going to let go of their sails and draw their weapons. Okay. I guess we're doing this. I'm just going to jump at the first one that uh, draws their sword and, and attack. All right. The closest one? Yeah. I mean, the first one, yeah. I mean, they're both, like, reaching for their weapons, but I'm going to say, like, you guys can probably attack them before they've drawn their weapons out. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll go for the first one. All right. Let's do it. So, yeah, go ahead and roll. 19. 19 is going to hit. Nice. And I'm going to do 8 damage. Oh, my gosh. Wow. You just go for the jugular. (laughs) <laughs> he's like pulling out a sword and he's right in the right in the uh, kidney he's falls over to the side and just immediately do you think bleeds out yeah okay alright so now it is going to be Morgan's turn she is going to uh, take out her short sword she found and approach the uh, safety boat uh, and that's she's gonna start like lifting it, looking at it, and, like. So that is her turn, and now it is gonna go to Bios' turn. Well, I'm not gonna help lift. Do you even lift? So I'm gonna. <laughs> no, I don't even lift. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna pa- uh, use poison spray on the nearest uh, enemy. All right. All right. So, so they have to make rolls? a spell save of thirteen. He gets a one. Uh, wisdom. Oh, awesome. So he's going to take some damage. Ten damage. Ten, Ten poison damage. damage. Oh my gosh. You guys are just vicious with your uh, attacks against these that was guys. A lucky roll. Uh, you spray him, he inhales it all, and there's like this wide eye look gets on his face, and he just like. <gasps> and then falls overboard into the water. Haha! <laughs> so then it is Lander's turn. I, I yell to Morgan, Are you going to try to get the spear out of the boat? No, we're just going to lift it over, right? I say, All right, I will aid you. Then I'll, I'll use guidance on her. All right, and now it is the enemy's turn who rolled a very pitiful two. So the dwarf captain takes out a hand crossbow and is like manning the uh, rudder spear with one hand. And is going to like look over and shoot at Morgan. And yeah, he's going to hit. So she takes a pretty good hit to her side as she's like lifting this boat. Um, and then the other, out of the three remaining deckhands, one of them on Brian's side is going to abandon his duty and draw his rapier and make an attack against you. Okay, I want that. I want that rapier, by the way. It's a twenty. Uh, is what he gets. And oh, no. so he's only going to do seven damage to you, but still, I bet mm. that's a lot of your health. He's going to do that clean, is a ton of health. A clean stab right in your, uh, right through your leg. He is going to uh, stay there, and I think that's it. It is now Din's turn. I'm going to attack that. 
bastard who just attacked me. All right. Let's give it a roll. 11. 11's going to hit. Oh. And I'm going to do five damage to him. All right. But as a bonus action, I'm going to use my second wind. Okay. <laughs> How much did you get back? I rolled a one. Oh, uh, I only got two hit points, but that's okay. Well, I can save your life. Who's better than that? It is Morgan's turn. She, after getting a crossbow bolt shot through her arm, is going to kind of drop the boat, as it were, and make haste towards the captain. Mm. You can tell she's kind of pissed off. Uh, she doesn't she's like being pissed. in there, I guess. And or being she, shot. Or being shot in the arm while trying to lift something. So she's going to try to attack the captain. Uh, she has a short sword. That'd do a decent amount of damage. Okay. So she's kind of dueling with the captain up on the rudder wheel. It's then going to be Bios' turn. All right. There's um. There's one other person that was attacking Din, right? Yes. So there are two more deckhands who are trying to do their jobs and one person who has their weapon drawn who's attacking Din. And then the captain who's up on the kind of upper level. I think I'll cast poison spray on the person that was that's attacking Din. That's armed. All right. They have to make a uh, oh, That's right. Let's see here. Uh he's going to get a 9. A con save. All right. Uh, yeah. 9, nine con. It's going to take four poison damage. <laughs> he is in very dire straits. Uh, Danny level amounts of, of wounds on this guy. Uh, and he doesn't look like he's going to be able to stand up to much more fighting. Danny. <laughs> uh, so it's Lander's turn. Well, I had a, uh, a brilliant plan to get this lifeboat going, but, you know, she just abandoned the abandoned it the first uh, attack, but that's okay. Well, you she know? took upwards gonna... of six damage, so it that's seems true. like she wouldn't withstand another crossbow bolt if she got hit okay. that hard. I will then help her engage the captain by shooting a ray of frost, and that is not looking good. Is a ten. Uh, it's not going to hit, safety. unfortunately. So I'm going to hide behind the boat. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, I'm not going to actually make a hide check, but I'm just going to move behind it, and you know, so I don't it's get shot like, across the boat. It's being held up, uh, yeah, propped up off the ground. Uh, so you can actually go underneath it if you want. Sure, I'll do that. All right. You crawl underneath, and you see a person pinned to the ground by the spear that entered through the lifeboat. That's just like dead. Like, he had taken refuge in the same spot, and now he's just, like, impaled. Well, at least we're not getting attacked by the spear people anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right, so it is uh, enemy's turn. The two other deckhands kind of observe their situation and decide to stay out of your guys' way. So the captain is going to go and attack Morgane with his fist. He's going to miss, definitely. And the other one is going to attack you again. Brian. Okay. Oh my god, he gets another crit! Oh nah. no. Ah. Alright, so let's see. Uh, oh no. Third. Four, three. You're gonna take uh eight points of damage. Ah. Oh my god. I fall down. Oh or I fall back. Daddy falls. Daddy. Damn you, Danny. <laughs> Damn you, Danny. <laughs> Uh, God damn it, Danny. It is your turn, so go ahead and, and you can roll a death saving throw if you want. I'll roll it. I will, just gladly. I kind of hope this guy survives because I want to hunt this bastard down. <laughs> so, uh, is it just a, it's just a, no, no bonuses or anything, right? No. No, it's just no. Uh, above 10, below 10. Gotcha. 13. Hey, okay, so you succeed once, so that's good. Yeah. And then it is going to be Morgan's turn. She sees you fall in combat. And she is going to uh, vigorously try to uh, finish the captain off. Uh, she hits him. She didn't do enough damage to, to finish him. 
And it's now Bios' turn. So, which one was the one that critted on Din? Uh, the swordsman, who you are close to. While the swordsman is striking down Din with a critical hit, I'm going to throw another round of poison spray right in his face. He gets a seven, so he fails. All right. Eight poison damage right in his face. All right. He falls to the ground as well, uh, coughing up blood and other horrible liquids from the poison. I want to move over to Din, and there's I don't suppose there's a way I can try to do a medicine check, right? To, yeah, the medicine check would have to wait till next turn, probably. All right. Uh, it's Lander's turn. You hear between uh, the combat when the other sailor gets downed by the spray, the captain in Dwarvish yells something. Do any of you guys speak Dwarvish? Yeah, I speak Dwarvish. You speak Dwarvish? You hear him say, Quick, mateys, get the, get the lifeboat. We have to get out of here now. I'll come out and, and you know, walk within 15 feet of the captain and say, Stop. Let us take the lifeboat together. We can slaughter each other on this deck and none survive, or we could all escape together. We are in the same boat, as my friend once, as a friend I knew once put it, and uh, we should all try to do that. So I roll persuasion. All right. <laughs> and what do I get? Let's see. I get an eight. So he says in Dwarvish, he goes, Mateys, destroy the lifeboat! Don't let them escape alive! <laughs> a watery grave awaits you, sir, and I, can I use a... Can I attack him? Yeah, you can attack him quickly. Okay, so I get 14 for Ray of Frost. All right, AC. yeah, you hit. All right, six cold damage. Six cold damage, all right. You, like, freeze the water that's splashing everywhere due to the rain. As his hand is on the rudder wheel, and it like freezes his hand to the rudder wheel, and it incapacitates him, but also when his body weight flops over, his hand like twists the rudder wheel <laughs> sharply to the right, and the whole ship suddenly just splashes to the right super heavily. And why don't everyone make an acrobatics check, except for Din, of course, who's already on the floor, and Danny, uh, to see if they can stay on their feet from the... I get it. Okay. <laughs> I got a nine. All right. Is Morgan is Morgan on the ground? Morgan is on the ground. She rolled terribly. All right. So everyone got knocked on. They're knocked off. Uh, let's see the two deckhands. They did not. Wow. They stayed on their feet. They're holding onto ropes though, so it kind of makes sense. All right. So it's uh, now the enemy's turn. Everyone has fallen to the ground. They are going to attempt to pick up the lifeboat, I believe. Now that they just saw their master, their captain, killed. Uh, so they are going to run up to it, and one of them is going to attempt to take out the spear. He kind of begins to. He rolls okay. The other one is going to unlatch the kind of things that are holding it to, down to the deck. Mm -hmm. So he begins to unlatch those. And it looks like they're pretty much on their way to escaping with this lifeboat. And it is now Din's turn. Din, why don't you go ahead and roll? Okay. okay. Rolling. Five. Ugh. Okay, so you get a, a failure, unfortunately. And it is now uh, Morgan's turn. She is going to get up and chop off the hand of the captain uh, that's frozen clutch is still on the wheel, and she's going to, like, stir the boat back to a, a sensible course. Because these guys are still in kind of dangerous waters. There's still a lot of shallow rocks nearby. But she seems to have a pretty pretty alright handle on it. Let's see. Let's have her make a, I guess, a performance check. Yeah, she'll do fine. So, it is now uh, Bios' turn. Alright, I'm gonna do a uh, medicine skill check on um, on Din. Alright, are you trained in medicine? No. Okay. Uh, I have proficiency in herbalism kit, oh, but... Okay. I don't know if that got taken away from me. Yeah, probably got taken away from you, unfortunately. But you have dried meat, so you can definitely try with that. Yeah, I'll just I'll create a, <laughs> a scab, an impromptu <laughs> scab of dried meat on Din. All right. 
Oh god, I rolled a six. Oh boy. You just leave me, guys. I'll make a new character. <laughs> it is going to be uh, Lander's turn. I want to, like, grab a sword or some sort of hard object in my vicinity and bar the door so that the four or five people down below don't come up on deck while we're trying to revive our friend and just slaughter us all. All right. Um, yeah, there's like a metal ring latch that you can probably like stick that through. And it'll, yeah, it's going to definitely be hard for anyone to burst through it. Um, so it's back to Din's turn. Okay. Let's give it a roll. Oh. Seven. Seven. Oh, boy. So that's oh, what, boy. one save and two fails? Yep. Oh, no. All right. Uh, Morgan is steering the boat. She's kind of having... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I skipped the enemy's turn, so they'll go right now. And they are going to uh, lift the boat off of its thing, uh, lift the boat off of its uh, supports, and <laughs> carry it over to the water and attempt to uh, lower it down while uh, jumping on board. So we'll see how well they do that. Uh, acrobatics check, I guess. One of them does very well. The other one just completely flubs and falls into the water. Uh, surely to a early grave. It is now uh, Bios' turn. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try use uh, more of that dried meat to uh, heal <laughs> Din here. All right, come on, come on, baby. There we go. Eighteen medicine. That's All what right. I'm talking about. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. I'm gonna say yeah. You definitely stabilize him. Um, we'll even get him up to one HP because why not? Din, you are. You're in a meadow. You are just there, surrounded by small rodents and creatures. And you're just like, oh, finally I can just rest after that horrendous torment that I was in. And then you're suddenly (laughs) jolted awake somehow (laughs) by the usage of raw meats. And it's just like rain pouring down on you and lightning striking and people throwing themselves overboard. And uh, you, uh, <laughs> you suddenly are just uh, jogged from your uh, slumber. Oh God! <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna say that's it for this uh, this adventure. Uh, we'll find out what happens exactly next time. Oh boy! I'm already at the door. I'm already out the door. Bye, guys. Bye. I didn't hear you guys. Sorry, sorry. I was out the door. Did you guys say something? Because I'm already out the door. <laughs> Say it every time, though. All right, see you guys. <laughs> For all your D&D needs, along with more episodes of this podcast, go to nerdsource.com. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Sounds 